Trusted sources claim that an iPhone 7 with an AMOLED display is actually possible. Motorola unveils its indestructible Droid Turbo 2, and you can say goodbye to international roaming charges at least in the European Union. I'm Jaime Rivera, and how much is the most you've ever paid for roaming? I once paid a $650 bill, and I regret it. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with Verizon and Motorola as uh, the companies have just unveiled their new Droid Turbo 2 and Droid Max 2. In the case of the Droid Max 2, this is pretty much the Moto X Play, just uh, you know, tropicalized for the United States. And uh, you get a couple of replaceable backs and the decent specifications, but uh, the Droid Turbo 2 is the big news here. Snapdragon 810. 5.4 inch indestructible display. Uh, link to the description, watch Michael Fisher's hands on. This is no joke. Other official news come from Apple as its quarter results are in. The company made 11 billion in profit out of uh, 51 million in revenue compared to 8 million in profits and 48 billion in revenue as uh, the same quarter last year. Uh, 48 million iPhones up as always, but then again in the case of the iPads, they are still going down at 9 million units. Obviously the company has a little to fix with its uh, future products that should be launched very soon, but uh, hey, there is still more to come from Apple, and let's just see if they can keep the rest of the momentum. Now let's move the spotlight over to the European Parliament and roaming charges as uh, new legislation was just passed where uh, roaming charges will not be legal as of 2017, and yeah, there is a long wait, but as of April 2016, roaming charges will be dropped significantly as well, and the whole concept here is that you could travel within your as much as you want it, not have to pay for anything, neither data, text messages, or voice calls when it comes to roaming. These are great news of let's just hope that it happens worldwide at some point. And you have no idea exactly how invested Samsung is with the Snapdragon 820 for the Galaxy S7, starting with the fact that it's using its uh, 14 nanometer FinFET uh, process for the design. And uh, well, Samsung is going up to great lengths to fix the whole heating issues that are reported with its proprietary 820 process processor or the version that it's using, particularly when it comes to heat, up to the point where Samsung is uh, launching either a patch on its software and its uh, hardware in order to fix this. And if they can't dissipate the heat with that, they are going to use heating tubes or cooling tubes, should I say. Uh, Samsung is going to great lengths. It's clear that both companies are collaborating for this to happen with the Galaxy S7. Let's just hope the performance actually pays off. Finally, the hot news today have again to do with Samsung and partnerships this time with Apple. Uh, Apple's been invested on IPS LCD displays ever since we can remember the first generation iPhone, but uh, well, things are about to change as apparently trusted sources claim number one that Apple is already testing Samsung OLED panels for the Apple Watch, which is interesting. Uh, and uh, the second is that apparently both companies are paving the way for the first ever AMOLED panel on an iPhone, which is something extremely weird. Apple has been using LG and Sharp for years, and it seems that that's about to change. So it does lead me to the question of the day. What is your favorite display technology and why? In my case, I will admit, I just go crazy over AMOLED displays. I didn't at the beginning because of the whole pentile matrix, but Samsung has done an amazing job with this technology over the last two years. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to hear your opinion. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.